So, eight months ago, I brought you this video. How to play Minecraft Java Edition on any Android, tablet, or phone. Shout out to everyone who watched that video. It smashed over 1 million views. I checked that video recently and seen this in the comment section. So it seems a few of you are having problems on accessing this for 1.18. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix that. I would also like to mention that this is not a mod or an add-on or an extension for Minecraft Pocket Edition, the Bedrock version. This is going to be a completely separate app, which yes, gives you access to Minecraft Java Edition. The first thing we need to do is head over to the Play Store. Once you're on the Google Play Store, on your search, you are searching for Pojav Launcher, P-O-J-A-V, space. So we're just gonna make sure it says Pojav, L-A-U-N-C-H-E-R. That's what you're searching for. It should be the top one. I've uninstalled this. We're going to do this with a fresh install. Just to show you guys, I'm on an Android tablet. I'm on a Samsung Galaxy Tab. We're just going to install this. Once you've installed it, simple, just hit open. It's going to unpack a bunch of files that are needed. So let it do, let it do its work. And then we should be faced with a login screen. You'll be faced with this. Now, I already have a Minecraft Java account, so I'm going to be logging in with my account. You can select the login as offline account, or you can simply buy an account, or you can ask your friends. There is multiple ways you can log in. If you're using a Mojang account, put your username in here along with your password. I'm going to switch to the Microsoft login since they migrated all the accounts. As you can see on the top left, I am logged in with the Real Echo account, which of course is my account. So you're gonna be faced with this. Now, a lot of you, if you just go onto this, which is the versions, and let's say you try 1.18.2 and you hit play, you're probably being hit with this error. It's not just 1.18 that's having this problem. Even if you try 1.17 as well, you are having this problem. As me making this video, you can successfully run the 1.16 versions without needing to make some changes, but that's an outdated version. We want to play 1.17. Better yet, we want to play 1.18. Okay, let's get version 1.18.2 working. There is going to be a file down below in the description, which will take you to their GitHub page. And this is the page that you need. It's really easy to access it. You're looking for the JRE17 for Android. When you scroll down, there's a couple of different assets. You are looking for the second one, which is 36.3 MB in size. So you wanna tap on this. It is going to successfully download. Let it download and do its work. Let's go back to Pojav Launcher, but make sure you restart Pojav Launcher before you do anything else. On the bottom left, Tap on settings. On the top, it says runtime manager. Tap on that. You want to add new. Adding new, just select whatever file manager you use. I use file manager plus. We're just going to tap on this just once for the for today. We are going to go to downloads and we are looking for this one right here, which is the one that we've literally just downloaded. Hit select. It's going to unpack and install the needed files. Let it do its work. Once done, you'll see this. Make sure the file you've just installed is set as default, okay? Make sure it's the default one. Then you're done with this. Hit exit, that's successfully done. Go to settings, go to renderer, which is the second one. You've got runtime manager, then renderer. You wanna tap on this, the second to bottom one. Make sure it says zinc in brackets, Vulkan exports OpenGL 4.6. Tap on this. Then you're pretty much good to go. But let me show you a couple other things because otherwise this can be very laggy for you. My first recommendation is make sure you allocate enough memory to this app slash game. Otherwise it's just gonna be incredibly laggy. I usually just put mine to the highest if I'm only using my device for this. Now at the bottom of this, we've accessed release versions. You can actually access snapshots, old alpha, 
an even older alpha, which means when we tap on the drop now, you can see that we even have access to the 1.19 Warden snapshots, which I might even attempt to do this in today's video. Nonetheless though, for now, let's just focus on the release versions. After you've done that, select your version. As we make in this video is 1.18.2 is the latest full release and hit play. It's just gonna install the needed files once again, let it do its work. The first time you run any new version, you might be faced with a black screen for a little bit of time. No problem, just be patient. You will eventually see the Mojang Studios logo along with it installing and then it will pop up with the main menu. After waiting 30 seconds, the Minecraft Java Edition menus have popped up. Now yes, my device is lagging. It's quite an outdated device. If you're using an old phone or tablet, don't be expecting much from this game. However, if you're using a modern Android phone or tablet, it should be completely fine for you. Also, no idea why the top left has been spread across to the main menu. Now on the top right of my screen, we have mouse. Gives access to a mouse. So this stuff here, no idea how I managed to get this to happen, but it's happened. Shouldn't really matter in game. Well, we're gonna find out anyway. So first thing I wanna do is go to options. Now once I'm in here, the game is less laggy. It looks like the uh, panoramic background is quite demanding on my device. We are going to go to video settings and I'm just going to bump this up to four, five. Just makes it a little bit easier for me to see. Um, we're going to go to accessibility. We can even turn on subtitles if I wanted to. So we'll see the things on the bottom right of my screen and then done. And again, feel free to mess around with the settings. Because, again, this is Minecraft Java on a phone slash tablet, which is built for a laptop or a PC. So I've massively reduced my render distance to make it a little bit easier. Again, mess around with the settings if it becomes quite laggy for you. Once you make it in-game, let me just run you through the settings. Top left, we have debug. The debug is the exact same as Java Edition, showing you your coordinates, the biome you're in, everything you need to know about your game. Next to that, you have chat, which is going to show on the bottom left next to the GUI. Now, you also have keyboard next to that, which can be accessed once you access chat. We have the tab button. You have the third person. If you tap it, it's going to be from behind. Tap it again, it's going to be from in front. Tap it again, you go back to first person. Now, the buttons are pretty simple here, right? So inventory, obviously going to give you access to your inventory. Tap it again. It's going to get rid of it. The bottom left is GUI. You can actually hide your GUI. Now again, my device is incredibly laggy with this. So yeah, uh, the crouching button. So we just got a third person behind. Crouching is the middle one here. So if you crouch, go in crouch mode. Obviously, you've got left, you've got right, you've got forward, you've got back. The PRI, I'm guessing, is print screen. So it might take a screenshot for you. SEC? I'm not entirely sure what that is, is for, but yeah, that is Pojav working in 1.16, 1.17, and 1.18. I think since my device is outdated, I'm not necessarily going to attempt to run snapshots or old versions. I think old versions would work perfectly fine, but if you've got a modern device, go and try out the snapshots and the warden and stuff. And let me know if it works for all of you. You have any questions? Just leave a comment down below. All right, I'm going back to 1.18.2. See you in the next video.